Uh, Apollo Kage, if you don't know him, man, again, number one in St. Louis. So much passion for his character, man. You can see him just like word search the, the words snake at Apollo Kage on Twitter. There's probably thousands of tweets about it, man. This guy's a theory crafter. This guy's a student. He dropped a magic chart today. Ned, uh, top 50 in the world in multiple games. Smash for Wii U, Smash Ultimate. Uh, absolute beast, man. So these guys are going to go at it. The aggression from the, both these players, the, po the punish game they both have. And this is top four of a massive tournament. I just can't wait to get into it. That's thought I was yelling at last. I'm sorry for yelling at you, bro. <laughs> Nah, man, not nah. last needs to be yelled at, man. He he needs no. he needs that he needs that no he needs that structure. No. <laughs> he needs he needs that aggressiveness to work. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we get it, we get it. You're your last biggest fan, but we're gonna be moving on from here. No. <laughs> last is a beast, dude. He showed me some stuff, and I will never get over. It. He blew my mind this week. But other than that, man, we've been uh, killing it. And this is effectively loser's finals because we've gotten a word that the buzz is just DQing for the tournament. We got the buzz raid. So shout out to the buzz. You had to play the great show. Love seeing your all mark. Love seeing your Alf tonight, man, killing it. And he's first to tens in this bracket, man, making it all the way to top three with solo all Omar. What a beast in his own right. But this is now basically loser's finals because the winner of this will face Sonic shortly afterwards. Let's get it. All right, but well, let's see what's going to happen here. Right now, we got Apollo Kage with a great lead. And this is kind of like a very interesting uh, matchup for the most part, is Ivysaur versus Snake. I feel I think this is, uh, uh, after Squirtle, I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty much sure it's like it's a lot of Ivysaur because that Leaf, uh, that Razor Leaf just kind of trades with a lot of grenades and then kind of gets them to stop in a lot of places. I, I kind of bring it, I, I'm a little, a little uh, shaky on that one, but still. It's going to be interesting to see how Ned's going to be able to bring all three Pokemon into... Oh, and the play here. Great back here. I feel like he could have lived. What yeah, happened? I think so, too. But either way, that's okay. The tipper, regardless. Snake's got a little bit more meat on his bow. one of the heavier characters in this game. But either way, if you're Ned, you're taking that to the bank. And again, this is basically loser's finals. So winner of this will face Sonic. Sonic's in grand finals. This is a money match. You lose this, you get nothing. You win this, you go to grand finals. Let's get it. Yeah, let's see what happens from here i mean right now uh, that's a quick 29 percent coming up from ned on squirtle and he just continues to pile on this damage man this is the problem with snake he's a bigger body he's a bit heavier too and squirtle loves those types of characters man just able to build up so much damage 66 percent just chasing around P uh, ps2 that was insane yeah, this is such a good set to watch. Such a good tournament, man. This is such a heated battle against two of the best players in the Midwest. Ned already ranked top 50 in the world, both online and offline. Apollo Kage also ranked online and a very strong competitor in his own right. Uh, both of these hungry in this first game will might just set the tone for the rest of the set. So we need to see who's going to get it first. All right, so here we go. Oh, here we go. Good dash attack. Oh. Gotta be putting on a little bit of damage, but the Ivysaur going to get back to, with that Nair. This is a tough oh. spot. Oh, he missed it. That's so unfortunate. I knew he was going to try and find oh, that. Here we go. Here he we just go. went a little too low. <laughs> he went, he's four yep. tilting all over the place. Yeah, Ned just sneaking by him on every opportunity. He's just going to seek out of that KO confirmed back throw for the stage control. Will he get the lead trap or the edge guard? This is where Snake is vulnerable. But Ned just staying on stage, holding still, and he had a sweet spot tilt. And just like that, Ned putting a Paul Kage on his final stock with a setup at the ledge. Oh no, we're losing contact here. The game will continue. Both of them are streaming right now, so either one can work. Ned PT or Apollo Kage, all one word. We're going to get back right into it. I know they're going to put us back on this, so let's get it. Ned PT. Uh, Apollo Kage, either one is fine. Both of them are hungry. Both of them got player cams. We are not done yet, man. This game is just heating up. Loser semifinals, fourth place or grand finals. Oh my God, I'm still going. Here we go. Here's Ned stream. Yep, here we go. Yep, no, Ned is absolutely killing it right now. Uh, got a little bit of percentage. There's going to be a lot more percentage with that Squirtle, 54%. And he just keeps going, man. 73, 78, 89, using that grenade for a little bit of extra assistance. Yeah, man, last stock, even even stock is even game here between these two competitors. Both of them dishing it out. Apollo Kage at 100%. Oh, no, that's it. That is it, man. Snake Ooh. on stage has to recover, and what a brilliant walk off the ledge with the Ivy Sword down there. Game Ooh, one guys... going in Ned's favor from Chicago, man. Putting some love on that right there, man. Putting a point on the board. Yeah, for sure. That was some great stuff. Great action all the way throughout. Uh, had a little bit of a DC, but thankfully, we are living in the era of streams right now. And you know what? If, if the... The host DCs just instantly hop into another uh, one of the streamers, and there we go. The game's right back on. But again, great stuff. Ned absolutely killing it. That Ivysaur putting out a, a lot, putting in a lot of work. That Charizard finally kills what it needs to, and that Squirtle man, that Squirtle going for 1670 sometimes. Insane stuff.
Yeah, man. One zero in favor of Ned. So now we're gonna opt for the counter pick from Apollo Kage. It looks like pretty fast, though. They might have run it back. Yeah, running it back. This is an incredible stage for Snake, so I don't blame him for it. Apollo Kage has got a really strong mindset, but Ned has got the determination, man, of a Pokemon master. So let's see who will get this game to. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, not gonna get too much else out of that down air, but just trying to find some damage. Here we go. Squirtle doing his thing, 55%, and using that water gun to create more pressure. Oh, well, trying to find that forward smash. And he's looking for like, the jab reset. They're not, not facing very well. Squirtle a little bit small, though. Had it been like a Charizard or Ivysaur Mistech, he might have found it. Now we got a dead even game here. A little bit of advantage going to Apollo Kage. The knockback on these snake moves are massive, but Ned is just playing so good in disadvantage. Who wants this ticket to Grand Finals against Sonic? Who wants it more? Ned is showing more confidence, but Apollo Kage not too far from the stock. Yeah, I mean, right now it's definitely going back and forth. There's really not much difference between them right now, man. That was kind of a scary spot to be in. I think that he dropped a grenade, but yeah, just getting up aired. Uh, if he got up aired by Ivysaur and he held on to that grenade, it was a potential that he could have just died. Uh, just, you know, how things work out sometimes. But good stuff to being able to live here. But the dash jack got to send Ivysaur off stage and kind of barely dodge that Nikita. Even for sense here. Oh, then can't confirm that he's been going for a lot, man. This guy's so good at landing it. it. It requires the right level of fall speed and the right hit of Nair to confirm into that. And Charizard is a big boy. He's going to fall susceptible to that. So now we have Apollo Kage with the stock lead here in game two. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, this is just what we're what I said we're going to be getting into. Some great hard-hitting action. Both these guys, amazing! <laughs> Down there, going to be able to get that stock of both these guys in some hard-hitting, fast-paced sets all night tonight. This has been a great night for Smash Bros, especially for a juice box. These guys absolutely putting on a show. Absolute beast, man. I love seeing this, man. Some of the best talent in the Midwest right in front of us. Number one in Illinois. Love number one in St. Louis. Like, this is so heated, man. I I'm loving it. Yeah, let's see what happens from here right now. I mean, even though we saw that stock disappear, Apollo Kage just continues to find ways to put on damage here. Oh, gonna get blown up by his own grenade. Actually, I wonder, was that on purpose? Trying to look for the up here or something? Up oh, tilt. Oh, 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 Snake oh, oh. up tilt is a top 15 character. I swear. But yeah, that's gonna do it on Ivy Sword at 100 after the hit. So good stuff there. But Woo! then we got Ned trying to apply the pressure. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, Ned! Nasty, a KO at 60 brings the last stock, and Ned's edge guarding has been godlike tonight. Honestly, an Ivy Sword Dare will probably close out this game the way Ned's been playing all night. Like, Ivy Sword Dare is so potent, and especially against Snake's linear recovery. Uh, Paulo Kage should put himself on notice. So, uh, not too far from getting this game himself, though. 60% on Pokemon Trainer. Uh, any of the Pokemon will be in the dangerous zone very soon. Yeah, let's see what happens from here, though. Uh, right now, yeah, no, Ned is definitely in a pretty good spot, but Apollo Kage does have the percentage lead, but for how much longer? Okay, gonna run in, just oh, go for a down throw. Oh, here we go, here we go, Ned. But Apollo Kage just trying to get staged yet again, trying to find his footing on the ground, gonna get stage control, gonna look for a trap, doesn't matter. Ooh, that's a Apollo Kage in advantage. A sour spot of the up air into the sweet spot up air. Will he get what he's looking for? Up tilt will do it. A forward tilt will put him in an edge guard position. Snake is hungry. Yeah, oh. but I mean, this charge art is out. And this charge art is put in so much work tonight. We've seen it take some amazing oh. stocks. Snake, that <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> Dude, we're seeing all sorts of stuff. I know I love the fact that Ned has been competing a lot more lately because he is showing us a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't seen. Oh my, he didn't, didn't, didn't get the floor tilt to land. Oh, there we go, Flair oh, Blitz onto the stage. Grab. Will he find the grab? That will be the game if he finds it. He looks for it, got punished by a sour spot back here. Uh, Ned though, positioning himself for the final blow. Yeah, this is getting so scary. Either player here could end up taking it. Oh, and the next exchange of dash attack, not gonna quite do it. Both of them are spacing very carefully around each other. Both of them want the killing blow. That's it. Oh! Yeah, that's absolutely going to do a Charizard at 190 or 200, somewhere around there. Hit him at when he was at like 180. Absolutely going to kill. There's no way he was going to survive. This is such a good set, man. This is, oh my God, these massive hits from these top level competitors, man. Top four of the juice box number 19. I have not seen something so crazy, man. I love seeing this top level competition. Both of them, like, again, uh, Apollo Kage has that whole mindset. Like, he, he wants to push his character so hard. He loves his character so much. And Ned, a master of his craft, man, filled with so much determination. Like, there's no way of knowing where this set is going to end up. Because now we're at 1-1. One, one, uh, very even set. Very even set. So, uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm very excited to see uh, just more action of this. Like, no one is, like, no one's, like, failing. Like, no one's doing anything, like, crazy. No one's, like, uh, 
No one's SDing or anything like that. Both of them are playing very on point tonight, which is why they're here in top four, eliminating so many people before them. I mean, that's just what it is. I, we said it before. These two have been absolutely killing it tonight. Apollo Kog has made a couple really great runs to the juice box. Suddenly, same with Ned. And now we're seeing them battle it out. These two are absolutely on fire. Uh, and like you said, nobody's going for anything too crazy, but they're playing smart Smash Bros. They're getting great confirms, they're building up damage, and they're getting their kills when they need them. They're like, I mean, we did see Charger go to about 180 there. That was probably a little too long, but again, Apollo Kage has been on top of just about everything here. These guys are giving it their all, man. 1-1. One, one, I hope we get a game five, because this is some good Smash Bros. Yeah, starting a small battlefield here for game number three. Pretty similar uh, platform layout here. We got the double platform here, but the blast zones are a lot different, and now we got Ned with the first advantage state of the game we saw ned counter pick here earlier tonight he won on regular battlefield but lost on small battlefield either way ned's making this counter pick work so far yeah let's see where it goes oh, here. Oh, great oh. stuff uh, Ned's usually on top of those uh platform situations but good timing on the getup from apollo kage gonna keep him safe from harm and uh gonna keep this back into a neutral situation Yep, we'll see what happens from here right now. Again, 92%. That's a lot of damage with Ivysaur on the field, too. Uh, I mean, he finds one up air. It could turn a lot of <laughs> momentum into his way. Ned. Wow. Just, <laughs> not Ned, actually. Apollo Kage sneaking through that like long-lasting there, but doesn't matter. Ned going to take the first stock. And this is a really good lead so far. And we also got the Pokemon music on this stage, so it uh, might be pretty good for Ned. Yep, so far, and it's looking pretty good, man. This Ivysaur putting in so much work. We're going to see a dash attack. It looks like Apollo Kage is really having trouble kind of getting this motor going. Going for a forward smash of all things, and that's going to lead to even more damage from Ivysaur, our good friend with the Vine Whip. Man, this is... <laughs> he's killing it, dude. Yeah, this is a very good game for Ned. Yep, there we go. Oh, he knew. Double dip, man. He knew Snake would make it back from the recovery, so he didn't want to give him the opportunity or the time. Good stuff. Good awareness from Ned. You know, it's great stuff all around. There we go. Dash attack. I mean, this is definitely looking to be very much so in Ned's favor so far. Oh, uh, no, just, no, I mean, oh, no. a 3-1. Oh, no. ah, okay, that was kind of a Whoa. weird was cool, uh, spot though. to be in. He canceled the end lag on that just by landing on there. Oh, we got a partner? Pokemon challenges in here, man? Oh, that's really cool. Uh, this is one of the best people to do it, man. Ned Pokemon Trainer. His Pokemon Trainer is absolutely nasty. He's been showing it all night, and this game is looking very solidly in his favor. Unless Paul Kage makes some plays, we're going to see a 2-1 in Ned's favor. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see where it goes from here. Okay, there's, that's a great opening right there. Not going to be able to get that second up air, but still, finding a forward tilt to continue to put on that damage. 65%. I mean, still on the, third, uh, on the second stock here, 30%. That's looking pretty good. I think that's the first C4 we've actually seen Apollo Kage detonate and actually land. He doesn't use C4 oh, that much, oh, it seems like. Ned's Ivysaur on Legends is so good at getting back. <laughs> out of nowhere, we'll bring this into a very... Like, that is a trigger right there, man. And he pulled it and made this into an even game. Oh, boy. That, that massive hitbox from the forward smash is going to connect and just blow him up at 60%. So now we got a very scary situation, but still Ned with an advantage. Snake off stage. Willie catches landing. Yep. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that up air for another kill, man. Ivysaur putting in so much work. <laughs> the patience on that, too. Just the awareness to wait out the air dodge, because uh, Snakes will panic when they take those high recoveries, and for good reason. Like, Snake has a ton of mix-ups, and Apollo Kage is well-versed in them, where he can be reversed with the grenades. But still, he put him in a scary spot to force that air dodge, and just Ned cleaned up shop. Dude, I love watching a Snake land a forward smash. I, that is... It's honestly, it's one of my favorite moves in the game. It's just a straight up RPG right at the ground. He's just like, all right, dude, this is gonna. You'd think he'd get hurt by it, but no, Snake just built different, man. It's just, it's just what it is. But, whew, man, what a set so far. I look, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say I want Apollo Kaga to win the next game, but I really want a game five. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> The, the, the sheer volume of talent that we're seeing displayed this entire night just gets get more exciting and more exciting. We've seen so many good sets tonight, and this is one of my favorites of the entire night. This is very cool stuff. I would love to see them. Honestly, that's like emergency first to 10 right now on stream. Not sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh, both, both, both of these players, though, they're, they're streamers. They're content creators. Both of them hit over 100 subscribers recently. They're on the grind. Ned streams five to six days a week. So check them out. Twitch.tv slash NetPT. And also Twitch.tv slash Apollo Kage. All one word for both of them, man. Because both of these guys, they're just fire, man. They're too fire to not watch. Honestly, I could. I could. 
watch this all night, man. These guys are just doing a whole bunch of new stuff. No game has felt the same! Eric oh, oh, another oh, up there! Oh my god, Ned has been abusing his entire bracket tonight, man. First best match now is Paolo Kage. What is happening in front of us? Uh, dude, Ned is on another level. Let's see if Apollo Kage can find a way to answer back because that is a huge stock loss. In the first, like, 15 to 20 seconds of the game, it's just it's just insane, dude. He needs a lot more forward smashes, and he's going to look for it there. <laughs> but uh, even still, Ned is just tacking oh! all the damage. 92% snakes on notice. Dude, he comboed oh, on the... Up he, he, ca he comboed off of Apollo Kage holding oh, on to his own grenade. Ned's positioning <laughs> this entire set has been incredible. All right, here comes a Flare Blitz. Yep, going to recover high there. Uh, again, Ned will use that Flare Blitz. Doesn't matter if he takes a little bit of damage. If he gets him a safer spot on the other side of the stage, then he will use it. Oh, Great switch. Two. Oh, my. He's keeping the pressure going. So he doesn't want to stay Squirtle. He will lose his stock. So just switching back to Charizard. Going to match these explosives with his fire. They didn't Ooh, live that wow. up, so No other Pokemon would have lived that. <laughs> for sure but yeah gonna be able to get that forward tilt from ned ned on fireman the ned train is absolutely moving tonight <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna see another game just the way he's killing it in this game four that is sheer understanding of the game too like i said apollo kage made a matchup chart earlier today and the best one to deal with snake is in fact ivysaur and we're seeing so much ivysaur action in this set against snake and even the previous set against Ness, man this is so much awareness of like what you gotta deal with and ned is just applying so much damage back to back to back and man here we go even more damage oh looking for that vine whip that would have been it yep oh my god just this is a damage output here. Ned is unstoppable. All right, here we go. Let's see where we go from here. This looks right. so difficult, man. This looks so hard the way Ned's playing. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just Ned's just on a whole nother level, man. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to be surprised to see if he takes this game. I will be surprised if Apollo Kaga finds a way to turn this around. That would be oh, absolutely insane. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh. Sayonara. Goodbye. The sheer decision making coming out from Ned, going up 3-1, advancing the grand finals of Juice Stox number 19. Oh my gosh, dude. Pokemon Master right in front of us. Ooh.